Eric Bergstrom here with the Marinette Marines, Jonte Webb. Jonte, thanks for joining me today. No problem. You just had the M&M game. You've been in some now. Tell us about your experiences in the M&M game and how different it is from other games. It's been really fun. I mean, it hasn't come out our way, obviously, in the last years. I mean, in my years that I've played. But, um, yes, it's very different. The emotions and all the people, it's just it, it's a very important game. And it means a lot. It just sucks. You know, I never got to come out in the way I wanted. What about the uh, beautiful catch you had down the sideline against Menominee? Did you did you take that ball off the top of the defender's helmet? Because where I was sitting in the booth, that's what it kind of looked like. Uh, yeah, our quarterback, Luke Johnson, kind of underthrew me, and the kid was smaller than me. I just kind of reached over, and I kind of like pinched the ball right between my hands and the kid's helmet, and luckily I came down with it. It was an awesome catch, and you've kind of become known for those catches down the field. Do you like going up and getting the ball against those cornerbacks? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of what we do. I mean, we have our, you know, main fade route, and it's basically just me going to get the ball, whether I'm open or not. Yeah, exactly, and a lot of times you have such a height advantage. I know last year's m exactly. M&M, last year's M&M game, you made a few catches like that against Menominee, and that must have been a highlight for you. Yeah, it, I mean, you know, it's always fun making, you know, big plays in the M&M game. It's almost like a dream. This week you have Little Shoot coming off a such an emotional game that you had against Menominee, is it really just about sort of getting back into a routine and getting back to work today? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the best part about the m M&M game is it is, you know, a non-conference game, so it really, it means a lot, but, you know, again, it's been a dozen. So we just, you know, we got to stay focused. You know, our main goal is playoffs, and, you know, our first step is just being a little shoot now. Question about your jersey number choice. You wear number 85. Why would you pick that number? Is it for a favorite player or any reason like that? You know, when I first, you know, became a wide receiver, I, you know, I didn't really know what number. And I wanted to do 80 because of the down driver at the time. And then, you know, he, he was done or whatever. And then I just kind of thought of a good wide receiver number. And I liked Greg Jennings at the time as well because I'm a big Packers fan. He was still for the Packers. So I picked that and then I just kind of stuck with it and I never wanted to change. Who's your favorite yeah. NFL player right now? Right now, I'm a huge Aaron Rodgers fan, of course. Like I said, big Packer fan. You know, A-Rod's my man. But I also like J.J. Watt just because he came from Wisconsin. And, you know, he's just a stud. Yeah, he's amazing. Just a great guy overall. When you and your teammates are getting ready for the game, what kind of music are you guys listening to? What gets you guys fired up? Uh, you know, just the basic pregame, you know, the hard rock, you know, just getting us jacked up staying focused, whatever. Who's in charge of that? Is it the coach, or do you guys get to choo- no, choose that music? No, uh, usually, usually our, our rapper, our, you know, our DJ is uh, Luke Johnson. <laughs> really? He's, yeah, he's a big music Nazi. He's all over that. <laughs> so Luke Johnson's the DJ, but I heard you're the comedian. I interviewed Connor yeah. Nelson. Connor Nelson said that you were the funniest guy on the team. Why do you think he said that? Uh, you know, I just, the main thing right now, because, I mean, we're, we're kind of young, so... I just like to keep the players loose, you know, keep, you know, make sure that they realize that, you know, it is just a game and we are here to have fun. So, What are your plans after you graduate from Marinette High? Um, I'm thinking about going to Eau Claire for study business and management. Well, Jonte, thanks yep. for joining me today and good luck on Friday. Thank you. Thanks for